Chapman is is a fatty. Uh, a lot of guys uh, talk about getting catfished, or my good friend uh, Carl from Black Label Logic uh, of the Red Man Group uh, that I'm a part of, he calls it being fatfished. In other words, you meet up with a girl on Tinder, okay, Cupid, uh, plenty of fish, et cetera, et cetera. You guys exchange phone numbers, and when you see her, she's fat, or a lot fatter than you thought she was. And the only way, the, the only reason why she's fatter than you thought is because you didn't figure out that she was fat. Like, holy shit, you're fat. Like, I saw pictures of you, and I video chatted with you, but you're fat. Like, how could I not tell that you were overweight? And of course, listen, man, guys don't want to fuck fatties. We want to fuck hot girls. We want to fuck girls who are fit. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to give you guys, um, I've actually got eight signs that a woman that you are talking to, a woman that you are uh, trying to set up a date with, is what we call a secret internet fatty. This is actually a term. It's called a secret internet fatty. Again, you can't get you can't get fat fished if you know she's fat. If you know she's fat, then she can't fat fish you. Listen, if you like fucking fat girls, you got a problem. Um, I mean, listen, we all we all have our vices, but I know a lot of you guys out there. Oh, I love me a big girl. Well, I'm sure you do love big girls, but if you have a choice between a big girl and a girl who look good, uh, between between a fit girl and a fat girl, you choose the fit girl. Uh, 10 times out of 10. No man prefers fat girls, right? You'll fuck fat girls if they are available to you. And a lot of guys say, well, I love fat women. Well, the reason why you love fat women is because you know that they are your only option. Uh, you w- you would like the world to believe that if you could fuck fit women, you would, but you prefer to fuck fat girls. That's why you fuck fat girls. No, you fuck fat girls because fat girls are the only ones who will fuck you. Anyway, I digress. So without further ado, here are eight signs Eight signs she is a secret internet fatty about to fat fat fish you. The first one, number one, is obvious. But a lot of guys still don't understand this. Number one, she has no body shots. She has no body pictures, only tightly cropped facial pictures. Now, most of the time, I would say six times out of ten, you can look at a girl's facial profile and tell that she is overweight. You can tell that she's fat. But a lot of girls have, a lot of girls don't get fat in the face, right? They don't have skinny faces, but they don't have fat faces. So you get fooled by these girls who have these not fat faces. They, some, some, listen, some of them have, some of them have faces that are, some of them don't have faces that are fat. Like some girls you can tell are fat just by looking at their face, big cheeks, big neck, etc. But a lot, there are a lot of girls out there who are fat, who are overweight. And I consider overweight to be over, Jesus Christ, 150 pounds. If you are five foot four and you're over 150 pounds, and it's probably, listen, give or take a few pounds, you're fucking fat. I don't give a shit. And for those of you guys who want to argue with me, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You know I'm right. So number one, no body shots. You see no body shots on her profile. She's not sending you body shots. She's not sending you pussy pics, ass pics, tit pics, because that reveals her body. So the number one way you can tell that she is a fat girl, a skinny girl in disguise, fat girl in disguise, whatever you want to call it, is that there are no body shots. The only the only pictures that you see of her are fat, are, are of her face. Number two, this is something a lot of guys usually miss. She describes herself as a foodie, right? Or you, you look at her profile and there are a lot of pictures of her with food. She's holding up a corn dog, holding up pizza, holding up the holding up the Starbucks uh, Starbucks milkshakes that they like to call frozen frappuccinos to avoid calling them milkshakes. I mean, listen, it's basically a coffee flavored milkshake. That's what that is, All right? If if your girl has a lot of pictures of her with foods at restaurants, if she's a foodie, if she's at a taste testing event, if she's at this restaurant, that restaurant, you can bet your ass she's fat. Lots of pictures with food. She describes herself as a foodie. So again, you don't know what her body looks like. Nothing but tightly cropped pictures. And, and she's got she's got food. She's got food in her hands all the time. She talks about food a lot. Number three. Number three, if you're paying attention to those pictures of her with the food, you'll notice that she has sausage fingers or triangular fingers. Right? In other words, when I say triangular fingers, she has very fat fingers at the top, but then they taper off at the bottom. They they usually try to hide it. 
with finger. You'll, you'll notice that fat girls who have fat fingers, they try to they try to divert the attention from their fat hands and their fat fingers with these elaborate fingernails, right? So if she has these elaborate fingernails with portraits and dollar bills and pictures on them, pay attention. If her fingers are like, if her fingers are fat, okay, or if her fingers are triangular, meaning they're fat on the bottom, skinny on the top, triangular fingers, she is definitely fat. So again, no body pictures, only tightly cropped pictures. Pictures with a lot of food. Oh, look at this. I'm out with, you know, I'm out for steak and, I'm out at steak and shake with my girls. I'm out at Outback with my crew. Pay attention to the fork in her hand. Okay, if she has Sasha's fingers, if she has triangular fingers, if she has elaborate fingernails, if she, if her nail game is on point, don't let the fingernails fool you. Pay attention to the fingers. If she has sausage fingers or triangular fingers, she is absolutely fat. Number four, she has fat friends, right? <laughs> you go down her friends list. Listen, fat girls. Listen, fat girls have skinny friends, but most fat girls have other fat girls. Most fat girl. Most of a fat girl's friends are fat. Okay, fat girls can't be friends with skinny girls because skinny girls don't want to eat. They're too busy at the gym. Hey guys, you guys want to go to, you know, Applebee's? No, 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 no. I'm going to the gym because I want my boyfriend to continue to want to fuck me. I'll, I'll see you later. Hey, anybody want to go to Starbucks for milkshakes? No, 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 no. Um, I'm going to go and, you know, run a mile around the pond so I can remain hot. Hey, does anybody want to go to Outback for its Bloomin' Onion and Cookberry Night, Cookberry Wing Night? Okay. Fat girls have fat friends because her fat friends are the only ones that want to eat with her. Skinny girls don't have fat friends because fat friends are, they're a bad influence on them. See, the only reason why skinny girls have fat friends is so she can be the slump buster. A lot of the times, the fat friends... Like, there's a bunch of hot girls. They have that one fat friend. She acts as the mother hen, the cock blocker. So if they're at a bar, if, if they're at a bar or a club and you, and you try to approach one of her hotter friends, the fat girl will cock block you, right? That's by design. A, because that's what her skinny friends want her there for. B, because the fat girl is jealous that you want to fuck her skinny, hotter friends. Other than that, those are the only skinny friends she... And listen, they don't invite her to real shit. They don't invite her... They don't invite the fat girl to her... You know, to, 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 you know, like if all their boyfriends or fuck buddies are having a get together at the party, they're, they're leaving the fat girl at home. But if they're going to the bar or the club, yeah, yeah, come on, Heidi, fatty, come be the cock blocker for us. Okay, that's not really her friend. Fat girls have fat friends. So if you get a girl's number, Tinder, okay, Cupid, look at her friends list. If the vast majority of her friends are fat, if her sisters are fat, if her mom, if her relatives are fat, dude, and she, again, Put all this stuff together. No body pictures, only tightly cropped photos of her face. Lots of pictures with her with you know, lots of pictures with her talking about food. I'm at this restaurant, I'm at that restaurant. Right? I'm at the fair eating funnel cake, fried corn dogs. Oh, I love soda. Oh, I'm at Starbucks again with my frappuccino, unicorn frappuccino, my 3700 count frapp fra calorie calorie frappuccino. I'm a foodie. And then you go down her friends list. She has fat friends, fat relatives, fat brothers and sisters. She's a fatty. What was I on? Number uh, number five. Number five. This is a good one. Pay attention. Number five. You cannot see her collarbone. A lot of guys miss this one, right? They see her. They, they and again, there, there are so many girls out there who look good up top. They look decent up top. They don't have flabby arms, right? Or at least they don't allow the pictures to get down that far, but they'll bend over, they'll show you their they'll show you their tits, tightly cropped facial photos. She doesn't have a fat face. She appears to have big tits of course because she's fat, right? But there's, you know, it doesn't look like she's fat. Pay attention to her collarbone. If you cannot see her collarbone, she is absolutely fat. Girls are experts. At taking pictures, fat girls are fucking professionals at taking pictures that hide their fatness. Okay? So again, if you don't... And now listen, I'm going to keep going through these because you got, I'm going to keep talking about this till you guys get it. Okay? No body shots, only tightly cropped pictures of her face. She's all, always talking about food, always eating food, out at a restaurant, eating this, doing that. She has fat friends or relatives. She has sausage fingers, triangular fingers. You can't see her collarbone. She is absolutely fat. Number six. Pay attention to this one. 
she overemphasizes that one. She only she overemphasizes one feature. Okay, if a girl is morbidly obese, she doesn't have any features that hide her fatness. She doesn't have any features that guys want to get with, right? But it, but but a lot of fat girls out there, a lot of overweight girls. Sometimes some of them do have nice asses if they're still young, right? I'm not a guy who likes a huge ass. Like I'm not that, you know, listen, I don't like, listen, I like a shapely ass. Dude, shapely asses are unbelievable. I don't like huge asses, but there are a lot of guys out there who like big asses. This is where black men get in trouble. A lot of fat girls, listen, a lot of fat black girls out there have shapely asses only because they're young or they're wearing some sort of, um, some sort of compression pants, compression shorts, and makes their asses look good. So all you see, you don't see the body pictures, but you see pictures of her ass, right? Fat girls also have big tits because they're fat. So they get these push-up bras, lifts and separates. So all you see are pictures of her tits, right? Pictures of her tits. She doesn't have a collarbone. Pictures of her tits. Ugh. She doesn't have a fat face. Oh, wow. Ooh, I bet she's thick. No, she's not thick. If she's emphasizing one feature, listen, some fat girls out there actually have shapely legs. They will only show their legs. If she is only emphasizing one feature, but she, again, going back to number one, but she doesn't have any body shots. Huh, interesting. There's pictures of her tits, pictures of her cleavage all over her Facebook page, all over her Instagram page, all over her Twitter page, but there are never any full body shots. It's because she's fat. She's hiding something. She wants to show you the good, the tits, the ass, the legs, to hide the bad. Listen, there's some fat girls out there who are still young. When I say still young, when they're still young, their bodies can still recover. When you're still young, you still have ample tits. You still have an ample bosom. You still have a decent ass, right? When you're young, you still have, sh sometimes you still have shapely legs, right? And they only emphasize those. It's almost like they're Frankenstein. You never see a full body picture. Fat girls are experts at overemphasizing that one feature that gets them all the attention on social media. If you see that she is emphasizing only one feature, she is absolutely fat. She's hiding something. And that's something she wants to hide is that she is fat, period. Number seven, she describes herself as thick or curvy. Yes, gentlemen, believe it or not, there are some men out here who are still tricked and fooled when women describe themselves as thick or curvy. Gentlemen, check this out. When women describe their body types, they're fat. Hot girls don't have to describe their body type. You want to know why? Because you can see that they have hot bodies from their pictures. I'll say it again. If they have to describe their body type, then they're fat girls. Dude, if a girl knows she looks good in a bikini, if you know she's got a hot body, flat stomach, beautiful ass, big, juicy tits, guess what? You're going to see them. She doesn't, she doesn't describe herself as athletic. Even if, even, it's so funny. Fat girls will also describe themselves as athletic. Really? Well, why can't I see that athletic body? Because girls who have athletic bodies don't describe themselves as having athletic bodies. If there is any description whatsoever on her profile page, okay, Cupid, Tinder, whatever, if there's a description of her body type, she is fat every time, every time. Because again, if she's a fit girl, she doesn't have to say she's a fit girl. If she has a hot body, she doesn't have to say, I have, a hot, I have a hot body. Here, look at my pictures. There you go. Fat girls always describe themselves as thick or curvy. They don't use pleasingly plump anymore. <laughs> and some guys are even fooled by that. So number seven, she describes herself as thick or curvy. Or she describes her body type. Again, if she describes her body type, she's a fatty. Number eight. And this is the one that gets a lot of guys. This is probably the one that tricks the most dudes. There are only old pictures of her. Every once in a while, you'll see a girl on, and I've never been on online dating, but you hear stories. And then, of course, you know, you have Facebook, Tinder, or Twitter, Instagram. And all of the pictures that show her full body seem to be a little bit older. She looks a little bit younger, right? Right? from three, maybe four years ago. All the current pictures, tightly cropped. Or she'll show her tits, or she'll do this. <laughs> a lot of girls will take a picture from above so you can't see their fat. Unfucking believable Unbelievable. But if you see that the pictures of her that show her, that show her tight body, 
and you and she looks a little bit younger the pictures look a little bit old you can believe she's fat you could dude 10 times out of 10 she's fat dude this is fraud she wants you to think that she looks like that now but she has a totally different hairstyle maybe she's a brunette now she's a blonde right maybe her hair was really long back then not so long now pay attention to those pictures but look at her face women age very very quickly so if i don't know if if there's a 28 year old that you're getting ready to go out with right and all the pictures all of her current pictures of, are up are, of her are, are up close you go to her profile ooh well she looks good in this picture dude widen that screen pinch that screen widen that screen if that picture looks old she's probably younger and if she's younger in that picture she is absolutely a fatty so let's go through them again. Numbers one through eight. Number one, no body shots. O no current body shots. Only tightly cropped facial pictures. Number two, lots of pictures with food. She describes herself as a foodie. She talks about food a lot. I'm at this restaurant. I'm at that restaurant. I'm holding a corn dog. I've got a slice of pizza. We're at the Philly Cheesesteak Festival. We're at the, you know, we're, we're, we're at the Pie Works. This restaurant, that restaurant, I'm at Starbucks drinking a milkshake, okay? Number three, she has fat friends, fat relatives, okay? You, listen, go, listen, go down her Facebook profile. Go down look at her friends. If most of her friends are fat, she's fat. If her mom is fat, she's fat. If her sisters are fat, she's fat. Number four, and I'm going out of order here a little bit, you cannot see her collarbone. Dude, if a girl, listen, skinny girl, listen, you, every, every girl that's fit, you can see her collarbone. Fat girls, you can never see their collarbone, ever. Number five, she has sausage fingers or triangular fingers. That fork she's holding when she's telling you that her eggs Benedict, eggs Benedict is delish, her steak and eggs is delici, delicioso, pay attention to those fingers, sausage fingers, triangular fingers. Number seven. I'm sorry, number six, she overemphasizes one feature. Fat girls a lot of times have one feature that guys like. Maybe it's an ass. Maybe it's her legs. Maybe it's her tits. Most of the time, it's their tits because fat girls have huge tits. They're floppers. They're floppers. They're down to her knees or they'll go off to the side, okay? But they overemphasize that one feature, and that one feature is almost always their tits. Number seven, she describes herself as thick or curvy, or describes her body type. Again, if she, listen, if she describes her body type, she is fat. Fit hot girls don't have to describe their body types because their body type is evident from the pictures. And number four, the pictures that you do see of full body shots, they are old pictures. You look at those pictures. If she's a few years younger, different hairstyle, maybe, may, maybe current pictures, maybe she has tattoos, maybe back then she didn't. Listen, old pictures mean she's fat. She's fat every single time. So 